For the second straight day, Vancouver's International Airport doubled as a staging area for chaos, frustration and even sorrow. Passengers who have waited days now to get on their flight sprawled all over YVR, with some still having no indication of just how long they will be here. With young children as well, it's, it's tough to keep them um, amused and interested. What went wrong here? Yeah, I want to acknowledge it was a really challenging last couple of days for, for travelers across Canada in airports and at, uh, in, air, uh, uh, in aircraft. On Tuesday, 30 centimeters of snow threw a gigantic wrench into the massive holiday operations here at YVR. More than 24 hours later, a spokesperson finally provided some answers. At times there have been some communications breakdown uh, and that led to uh, lots of questions here on the floor. YVR blames the unexpected snowfall for the cancellations, delays and general bedlam at its terminal, saying the amount that came down surpassed their estimates by more than double. You mentioned that this was in the forecast. Why not over prepare leading up to it? Yeah, we do to a certain degree, but uh, for context, uh, that was triple the amount of snow that was, was forecast, and I don't think anybody across this region uh, could have ever uh, prepared uh, in that way. Wednesday, some flights were moving again. The congestion of planes stuck on the airfield clearing slowly. Desperate to free the backlog, YVR decided to limit the number of international flights allowed to land in Vancouver all the way until 5 p.m. Friday at the earliest. To make matters worse, the airport was short of de-icing fluid at a time, a problem that it has now resolved. Now the message continues to be for those who may have a flight coming up in the next few days, especially with bad weather ahead, to check ahead for flight cancellations and delays before physically showing up here to YVR. Imadagahi, Global News.